Hi, Michael Hurwich here for creativecow.net with a tutorial on text in Sony Vegas Pro 11. There are four ways to create text in Sony Vegas 11. Starting from the oldest, we have legacy text. Then we have the prototype titler. This appeared in Sony Vegas 8. Titles and text is new in Sony Vegas 11 and the New Blue Titler Pro is new in Sony Vegas 11. The New Blue Titler Pro is something that you have to download and install. It won't just be there out of the box. So you have to go to the New Blue site and download it and then install it and then you'll see it here. So the legacy text, while it's fairly simple, actually has some nice options. Just drag it onto the timeline. This is a standard way to create all kinds of text. And then you have the ability to place it. You have a number of different properties, such as the text color, the background color, which we're actually not seeing here because this is all the way down to transparent, but if I bring this up, then you'll see this background color. And there's some effects like drop shadow and an outline. So that's the legacy text. There's actually a lot you can do with it. I'm going to select this and delete it. Now let's take a look at the ProType Titler. Go back to the Media Generators tab, and here's the ProType Titler. There are just a few presets here. I'll just drag an empty event down to the timeline. So there's no text here yet. I'm going to expand this window a little bit, because this is where I work with the text. One way to create text is to click on this plus sign right here, Add New Text Block or just double click in the window and it adds text. Now we're in text edit mode. I could change this text and then when I'm done I could either click up here or press escape to exit. I'll just press escape now. So I can work in the window here. I can move these control points in order to scale the text in the X or the Y direction. I can also control the text over here. So for example, scaling happens here. Notice I can scale it in the negative direction to actually reverse it, to turn it into mirror writing. Same in the Y direction. Offset is moving it. I can also animate. Let me just pull this down a little bit. These are the toggle automation buttons. So this allows me to animate. I click this, a little dark dot appears in that radio button there, and now I can animate. So for example, that creates one point of control right there, one keyframe. Go out here and change this. You can see it creates a curve there. Now, as I scroll through the timeline, that animation takes place. And if I play the timeline down here, the same animation takes place right here. The prototype titler, as I said, goes back to Vegas 8, but there are some changes in the user interface in Vegas 11. One of those is the Add Curve function. That now happens down here with a right click. And you get this little Add Curve indicator. Click on that. You get a selection of curves. Just double click on one of those curves. If you can see this, it's giving you a little sawtooth curve in there, which actually affects the X offset of the text. 
Another new feature in the user interface is the collections being right here. So for example, here we have a gradient fill. I can select that. I just applied that. And then I can go to the collection and I can select something else with a double click. Now I could go in here and change this. So for example, I could bring that over and make more white. And then I could save that to the collection. So I can create my own items in the collection. So that's all I'm going to do right now with the prototype titler. I'm going to select this clip here and hit the delete key to delete it. Titles and text. So this has quite a large collection of presets. That's the big advantage of this. We get a lot of different animations here. So let's just take a look at a few. So that's Action Flip. I'll delete that. And this is coming at you. And I'll delete that. One other thing I'll point out is that Titles and Text uses the OFX programming interface, as does the new Blue Titler Pro, but the older ones do not. That's OpenFX, and it allows Vegas to support a much wider variety of plugins. So finally, let's look at the new Blue Titler Pro. Again, if you've purchased or upgraded to Vegas Pro 11, your product should come with an activation key for New Blue Titler Pro, and then you need to go download it and install it. The big feature here is 3D text. For example, 3D animation or text extrusion. So here we have some text. I'll just pull this down. And here we have some controls. So for example, rotation. If I rotate this in the Y direction here, you can see I get a perfect 3D rotation. You can also go over to the library, and there's a large library of different types of 3D text. So for example, here's blue chrome, and you notice it previews here. In order to apply it, just drag it right into the text window here and drop it. And there it is applied. And you notice that the rotation that I applied before is still there. And the 3D still works. So that's the basics of text in Sony Vegas Pro 11. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this has been helpful.